In early April of 2024, a video from Kuwait surfaced that showed a Toyota FJ cruiser on a beach. The Abu Hassaniya public beach is widely regarded as one of the best public beaches in Kuwait and gets a lot of visitors daily. The driver of the SUV is a 34-year-old man who is attempting to do some sort of stunt by the looks of it. Everything quickly spirals out of control as the SUV spins out, causing a bizarre thing to occur. The man, for whatever reason, decided not to wear a seat belt. Because of this, he was launched close to 16 feet in the air as the SUV flipped over. Luck was on the man's side though, as he landed in shallow water that was deep enough to cushion his fall. Even though he's seen limping away, it was later found out that he only had minor injuries, but was in a state of shock. When the authorities arrived, the water levels had already risen, which took the car into the sea. Since then, it's been reported that various charges for reckless driving against the driver have come to light, with no further update given. What are your honest thoughts on this bizarre event that unfolded? Let me hear them in the comments. Malaysian Navy Day occurs every year on the 27th of April. This year was set to be its 90th, and rehearsals for the celebrations have been taking place for a few days now. Many aircraft are used for their Navy Day, with these rehearsals involving Eurocopter Fennec helicopters and Maritime Operation helicopters. Unfortunately, these rehearsals would end in tragedy. The two helicopters were recorded by people on the ground colliding with each other mid-air. There were 10 people on board the helicopters when the collision occurred. All of them tragically lost their lives. The military confirmed that they passed away on the spot when they went to search for any survivors. This incident occurred on the 23rd of April and the Malaysian armed forces have launched an investigation to determine the exact cause for all of this. Of course, given how early it is, there's no updates regarding what may have happened here. All of the people on board the helicopters were under the age of 40. This is footage that was recorded by CCTV cameras at an airport in Turkey. It shows a small plane taxiing. In that plane was 22-year-old Burku Saglan and 54-year-old Hakan Koksal. Hakan was the pilot of the plane and also the president of an aviation association in Turkey. During the flight, Burku Saglam would record various videos of herself in the plane and post them to social media. One of these images was also paired with the caption, Bye. This would all make a tragic and disturbing backstory. Take a look at the video. Unfortunately, these are the final images and videos of Burku Saglan as the plane would end up crashing into an overhead power line and catch fire, 
claiming the lives of both aboard the plane. This CCTV video was also recorded, showing the moment of impact. Burku Saglan passed away when the plane caught on fire from the impact, with the pilot, Hakan Koksal, passing away after getting ejected from the plane. It's disturbing and tragic that these are the final moments of two people. It's unclear how the plane ended up crashing into the power lines, as the investigation has not yet revealed anything that can be released to the public. It's unclear when or where this following video was recorded, but information surrounding the video points to it being recorded somewhere in North Africa. By the get-go, whatever it is that these people seem to be attempting is confusing and looks to be faulty to begin with. Yet, when something does go wrong, it's still shocking nonetheless. They attempted to load the truck on a ferry where it somehow got stuck between it and the edge of the land. By the looks of it, the ferry departed before the situation could have been salvaged which ended up with the truck falling into the water and eventually sinking. The scariest part is that a man was driving the truck and fell into the water with it, having to avoid getting crushed or drowning. Thankfully, he did manage to get out of harm's way and swam to safety where he was picked up by other people. It's difficult to come to any solid conclusions regarding how all of this happened, due to the video not showing the entirety. Yet, regardless, there's no denying that this was a bad idea. This is a clip that was recorded on the 13th of April 2024 in Madhya Pradesh, India. The context behind the clip is as shocking and bizarre as the clip itself. According to local news sources that covered this, it is said that a few men in the area spotted a bee's nest. Things were normal up until this point when suddenly, one of the men decided to throw a rock at the bee's nest. This shocking act led to a downright horrifying scenario, not only for the man who threw the rock, but also the others present in the area. It was later revealed that these men were taking part in some festivities that were taking place in the city. Chaos ensued as thousands of honeybees swarmed over everyone, resulting in a stampede. They were all gathered at a fort during the party, where attendees were attacked by these aggressive bees. This left at least 25 people severely injured, from which 8 are said to be in critical condition. The sheer panic and chaos is visible in the video recorded. The next video is footage that was recorded on the evening of July 19, 2018. As seen by the video, a duck boat is captured. Although the footage is grainy, it's still evident that there is a thunderstorm that is ongoing and the waters in the lake are choppy. Around an hour before the video was captured, the National Weather Service had issued a severe thunderstorm warning for the lake and the surrounding areas. This is what makes the footage so disturbing. Have a look. Yes, yes. We had that storm in the last one, figured out how to take you live. Yep. Really? Yep. That's a key tornado. We are on the coast of North Carolina. This nose is out of the water. Yeah. I don't know if there's kids on there and the poor baby. He's kind of on this side. Oh. Um, look at that driver quest oh when he gets back God. in. Starboard side, Ash. Yep. 
one of the ducks sank and everybody on board here is trying to get them out of the water. Even with the weather warning, the duck boat still went out, which ended up being tragic, as a short while later, the boat sank on Table Rock Lake in Missouri. There were 31 people on board, of which 17 sadly passed away. This footage was recorded moments before the incident occurred. One of the passengers on board, Tia Coleman, lost nine members of her family. She revealed something horrifying, stating that the crew of the boat made it clear for passengers not to wear any life jackets. This is strange and unacceptable, with the crew stating that they wouldn't be necessary. It's hard to know what would have happened if people had life jackets on, but it's safe to say that many would have been able to survive.